Welcome students. Cat is approximately one month away from here. In this video, we'll understand what to prepare for data interpretation and logical reasoning to maximize the score in this section. The LRDI section of Cat is the second section of the Cat. That means it starts with the second hour of the test. There is a dedicated one hour time given for LR plus DI section. So there is no sectional boundary between LR or DI. Sets are generally spread randomly throughout the section. The 32 questions which are given to LRDI section are generally divided in sets of 4-4 four, four questions each. Traditionally, we have observed that 4 sets are of DI and 4 sets are of LR with some exceptions in some of the cases. Let's start with understanding data interpretation as a subject. Well, there are primarily 4 types of questions under data interpretation. First, counting based questions. For example, among the data given, how many states have population more than 2 crore and literacy rate more than 75 percentage. Here a huge data probably is given to student and we are supposed to do a manual counting of the required need. Second variety is calculation based DI questions. For example, what is the ratio of the female employee in company A to male employees in company B? Here we are supposed to fetch data from the relevant sources and find percentage or ratio of the given data. Third is the logic based data interpretation questions. Now here apart from data fetching and calculation, you are supposed to meet a simple need which is given as a condition. I will explain with a small example. Suppose we have an employee group of age 40 to 50 years. Then a further data says that average age of this employees is let's say 47 years. Now the question is then what is the maximum number of employees who are more than 45 years old in this range given the number of employees of the company. So here you need just more than calculation understanding of the behavior of the data when a particular constraint is given. Fourth is data structure based DI sets. Now here data is either given in text format where you are supposed to arrange data in a particular understandable format so that you can solve it normally or it is either some other format like football games or resource allocation in which you need to arrange that data in an understandable format to be able to solve it easily. These are little complicated sets which need more practice. So what should be the preparation plan for data interpretation in last 30 days? First thing, the basic one, a student should be very comfortable with fractions and tables to ensure that a good number of calculation based DI sets that we receive in various examination including CAT can be solved effortlessly. Second thing, well good variety of DI sets should be practiced on regular basis. By good variety, I mean let's say bar chart, pie chart, tabular chart, caselets, some mixed charts some different variety that, that can surprise a student etc should be part of the regular practice. Third thing is understanding of the fact that data interpretation question is a game of options. There are many questions in which you don't need to solve a complete question. Sometimes options are so good that you can easily identify the right option because some options are not at all within an acceptable range. Now this comes with practice, a habit of using option throughout solution of the question comes with a regular intent of using option. So when you are doing your regular practice, ensure that you experiment with the use of option on regular basis. Fourth, I believe it is needless to say that the practice is incomplete without putting a time constraint and forcing a need of selecting or rejecting sets. So apart from regular normal solving of DI sets, Sometimes students should go for some DI sectionals in which there is a time limit. There is a need of rejecting some sets just to maximize the score you can get. This is a near cat practice where you are supposed to take some decisions and then you are supposed to solve the sets you have chosen. Now let us talk about logical reasoning as well. Logical reasoning, well since cat has their habit of asking LR in a set format that means most of the LR sets are of tabular arrangement based sets. That means you are given some data in a text format or paragraph format and you are supposed to create an understandable tabular format so that questions can be answered once the table is achieved. The typical challenge that is experienced while solving this kind of sets 
is the uncertainty that whether we'll be able to finish the table or not. This says they need investment of five to eight minutes generally. That means selection of the right set, finishing the set without making a single mistake, absorbing each and every piece of information from the given data. This comes with practice. Well, this LR sets, they produce a weird challenge. Most of these sets, they have some investments at the beginning. So the set would like you to create the complete table so that you can solve the questions probably at a rate of one minute at per question once you are done with the table. But the initial five to 10 minutes of time, that is little challenging. Because first of all, there is an uncertainty whether this set is of right difficulty level or not. Second, since there is the length, there are various data arrangement. So there is a scope of error as well. So here practice is needed the most. But student, here you need to understand that LR is not a knowledge, it's a skill. So there is a simple understandable method of arranging data that you can probably acquire by solving a couple of sets. But then what about accuracy? What about being able to reach the end successfully every single time? What about increasing the speed? What about solving the set probably two thirds of the time? So once you start getting the sets right, don't stop there. Target the next level, that is more speed, more accuracy. A one more set in a whole section of LRDI would increase your percentile significantly. Just like data interpretation, here as well, I would like to recommend that you should take some LR sectionals for practice purpose, where there is a time limit and probably sets are more than enough for the time given so that you get to choose a set over another set. That would be the right practice. Overall, let's understand the fact that ultimately it is LR plus DI section. That means final right practice is the actual test paper. When LR and DI come together, they come when one R gets over, when you are reasonably tired because of one good R of verbal, and then you need to select some sets out of the eight sets offered to you. This is a different practice. Last year, CAT 2016, we had a situation in which out of eight sets, solving four sets successfully was more than sufficient for very impressive percentile. That means in LRDI, selection plays the great role. Here at the beginning of the section, you are supposed to do the right selection. That means the right practice should be there in your mock papers as well. So the right practice is ensuring that you write some mock cats on a regular basis in which you reach the DILR section at the regular time, that is the 61st minute. And then you experience the whole selecting LR or DI set over the not so impressive sets on a regular basis. So that is the prep plan for LR and DI in these 30 days before CAT. Best wishes.